10. Make plans for the spring fever chase. It's a 10 K and two mile fun run winding through beautiful downtown Fairhope and overlooking Mobile Bay. This morning we have Jill Everson from Thomas Hospital and John Erdlitz from Wells Fargo to tell us all about it. Good morning to both of y'all. Good morning. morning. Hey, thank you so much for being here. You know, when you have a run and you have a setting like Mobile Bay and Fairhope, first and foremost, the backdrop is going to be absolutely beautiful. Oh yes, it's a beautiful run. You get to wind through downtown. You get to go through arts and crafts festival as well, and then finish right on the bay. And when you call it the spring fever chase, it really gets your spring fever going and, and enjoying all the things that are spring. We actually have the shirt here this year. Tell me a little bit about the shirt and the design, y'all. So we took a little bit of the backdrop from the fief wall in Fairhope mm -hmm. to bring out some of the different events that we've got, you know, going on um, the different crabs and alligators and. So cool. Hope. And on the back, of course, is a map of uh, Baldwin County and part of the proceeds for this benefit Baldwin County Schools, correct? Yes, sir. Everything goes back to the PE programs in Baldwin County so that they can get the uh, equipment that they need uh, to exercise those kids. Uh, so important to help give back to our students so they can do what they need to do to further their education. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Wells Fargo. How did y'all get involved with this spring fever chase? Well, that's a great question. It actually transcends not just past years, but it goes back 5, 10, 20 years, two bank names. You think about South Trust and Wachovia, they're all part of the Infirmary Health uh, Partnership. Sure. So our end of the deal is it's not basically what we get out of it, what we get to put into it. We get mm -hmm. to service the community then in which we serve. So it's a chance for us to show our face and say we're part of the community and we appreciate y'all. Yeah, and Wells Fargo, of course, is a nation, a national company, but you're still making such a huge effort to outreach and become part of our local community as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. All right, so the Spring Fever Chase, let's talk about some details. When is it all taking place? So the race is March 16th. Mm -hmm. uh, that starts at 8 a.m. Um, and it's uh, the 10K starts at 8 and the fun run starts at 930. What do people need to know about registering and getting involved to make sure they don't miss any of those deadlines? How can they come on out to take part? They can register at springfeverchase.com. Mm -hmm. They can go to any of the infirmary fitness centers and any of the Baldwin County Wells Fargo locations to pick up applications. And is this one of those things where you do need to register in advance or if you're a if you're a slacker, <laughs> can you show up the morning of and still have time to sign you up? You sure can sign up the morning of. <laughs> all right, sounds good. So it's all taking place. There you see the information on the screen. Saturday, March 16th at 8 a.m. Beautiful setting. Anything else we need to mention before we go or did we cover it all? I think we covered it all. Sounds good. There you see springfeverchase.com. We'll post a link to that website on ours, the Studio 10 tab on fox10tv.com and a great shirt this year too. Thank you. Got to pick it up. Thanks a lot y'all. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.